So, this is Jake's favorite, huh? Mm-hmm. He has always loved my mama's lasagna recipe. The secret is to add a packet of onion soup mix into the ground beef, and then you always sear the ground beef before you add the sauce. Then you let it simmer for about mm, three hours. Gotcha. Um, Jake hadn't mentioned a party, so I was just wondering if you had something planned? Mm-hmm, I have a little something. We're having a surprise party! Oh, it's a good thing you told me because I definitely would have spoiled that. We're gonna invite all the guys um, from the team, you know, because he's leaving in a couple of weeks for summer training. It's kind of like his last hurrah. Right. So, big send-off, huh? Yeah, don't tell him, but... I might have gathered a few of his childhood things. His first jersey, some kids' clothes. Ooh, I had some of his childhood photos printed on fabric, and I made him a quilt to take away. Oh, I love that. It's a little sentimental, I guess. I, I'm just going to miss him being around. The house is going to be so quiet. I got him a gift, too. You did? I did. Um, and I think maybe it'll be one that you like too. Like, maybe the house won't be so quiet. I found out a week ago. I haven't told anybody. Okay. Now you're making me a little nervous here. Is, um, is everything okay? Everything's perfect. That's just it. Everything's better than before and I've just been kind of, you know, trying to figure out the best way to tell them and I think that the best way is just surprise him on his birthday. <laughs> um, well, I'm pregnant. <laughs> what? I thought maybe I would put the positive test in like a cute little box with a note or maybe I could hide the box with a little, you know, make a little scavenger hunt that leads him to it. You know, just something fun like that. You're for, you're for real? You're, you're serious? Why would I kid about this? Well, you're absolutely right. It's, it's not anything to kid about. I just, I don't know. I always thought of you as a jokester. You know, you like to hop through life. You never take anything seriously. You never I'm consider- I'm not joking. And I don't hop through life. I'm actually really excited about this. And I mean, what a beautiful way for us to start our lives together. But you have years ahead of you to do this. Yeah, but with Jake leaving- Yeah, he's leaving. Exactly. He, he is leaving to go to his dream school to play for his dream team. He, he, he's not throwing that away. You don't know him like I do. We've had these conversations. <sighs> he's my son. I think I know my own son, thank you very much. We've talked about this a lot and what we want for the future and I genuinely think- You think you haven't thought clearly about Anything. I mean, neither one of you had a, you, you, you wouldn't be in this predicament. It's not a predicament. It's an opportunity. An opportunity to grow and to be a family. <laughs> Here's how this is going to go. You're, you're, you're going to take care of this. Take care of it? Yeah. And you're not going to tell Jake. You're going to take care of it on your own. And he's going to go away to school. And if the two of you can make this work long distance, then you can try again later. When the timing is better. I'm sorry. Let me get this straight. You are asking me to get rid of my baby and to lie to Jake about it. No. No, I'm not asking. I'm telling. This is our decision. His and mine, not yours. Uh-huh. That young man you're talking about, he has worked incredibly hard his entire life and, and you are actually okay with asking him to throw it all away. A once in a lifetime opportunity. I don't want him to throw anything away. I know his dream is to play baseball, but what about my dreams? 
I want a family, and I know that maybe this isn't the traditional way that things are done. And maybe the timing seems bad, but also, maybe it's a sign. It's a sign that Jake isn't supposed to follow this path, that we're supposed to find a new path together. College can wait for just a second. Just give us a chance to figure this out. Oh, hell no. Mm -mm. Absolutely not. No, you are going to listen to me now. I am not going to let him ruin his life over this. I don't care about your little fairy tale of escaping your shitty little life by riding on my son's coattails. He has been working for this moment for his entire life since he was three years old. Outside in the backyard with the plastic little t-ball set. No. Now I am his mama and you are going to listen to me. I, I will go to unspeakable lengths to make sure he gets everything he deserves in this life. I will lie, cheat, I will steal, I will do whatever it takes to protect my son because that is my job. Do you understand what I'm saying to you, Maggie? Oh, Mrs. Trick. I understand completely. 